Ever wondered how chess openings have evolved over the centuries? Well, you're about to find out. In the early days of chess, players adopted a fairly straightforward approach. The king's gambit, for instance, was about as straightforward as it gets. The player controlling the white pieces would immediately throw down the gauntlet, challenging their opponent by moving their king's pawn two squares forward and on the next turn, sacrificing the pawn in front of the bishop. This was a bold, assertive opening, setting the tone for the game. Similarly, the queen's gambit, another early opening, was equally direct. It involved moving the queen's pawn forward two squares and then offering a pawn sacrifice, a gambit, to control the center of the board. Despite their simplicity, these early openings were incredibly effective, setting the stage for some of the most famous matches in chess history. These early openings were straightforward but effective, laying the foundation for the strategic gameplay we see today. As the centuries rolled on, chess players began to place more emphasis on long-term strategy. The simple, direct strategies of the early days gave way to a more nuanced approach to the game. Chess was no longer just a battle, it was a war of attrition, a dance of intellect and foresight. During the 19th century, the game saw the development of more complex openings. One such opening was the Sicilian defense. This opening, which begins with the moves pawn to e5 and pawn to c5, focused on controlling the center of the board. It was a counterintuitive strategy, as it involved moving a pawn to a side square rather than the traditional central squares. The aim was to control the center indirectly and set up potential counterattacks. The Sicilian defense is still one of the most popular openings in chess today, testament to its effectiveness and longevity. Around the same time, we also saw the rise of the French defence. The French defence, starting with pawn to e4 and pawn to e6, was another opening that prioritised control of the centre. However, it differed from the Sicilian in that it aimed to build a solid pawn structure and delay the fight for the centre until later in the game. It was a more defensive strategy, as the name suggests, and it required a great deal of patience and foresight. These openings marked a shift away from the immediate battle mentality of the early game and towards a more strategic, long-term view of chess. Players were starting to realise that the key to winning wasn't just about capturing pieces, it was about controlling the board and setting up your pieces for future success. This shift towards more strategic openings marked a major evolution in the game of chess. It wasn't just about the moves you made, it was about the plan you had in place. Chess was no longer just a game, it was a battle of wits, a test of strategy and foresight. And this shift in strategy paved the way for the modern openings we see today, openings that have been honed and refined over centuries of play. It's a reminder that in chess, as in life, it's not just about the moves you make, it's about the strategy behind them. Fast forward to the present day and we see a wide array of chess openings, each with their own unique strategies and counter strategies. Let's dive into the world of modern chess and explore some popular openings that have taken the chess world by storm. One such opening is the Slav defense. This is a highly tactical opening where players focus on maintaining a strong pawn structure in the center. The Slav defense is a strategic masterpiece, demonstrating the value of patience and fortitude in the face of potential aggression. On the other hand, we have the Karo Khan defense. This opening is all about flexibility and control. It allows players to maintain a solid structure, while also offering opportunities for dynamic play. The Karo Khan defense showcases the beauty of balance and adaptability in chess. Both these openings represent the depth and complexity of modern chess strategy. They highlight the importance of understanding not only how to place your pieces, but also when to initiate action and when to hold back. It's not just about the opening moves, but about setting the stage for the middle and end game. These are just two examples of the vast array of modern chess openings. Each one serves as a testament to the evolving nature of chess, a game that continues to captivate and challenge us with its intricate strategies and endless possibilities. These modern openings, rich in depth and strategy, show just how far chess has come since its early days. So where does chess go from here? Well, the possibilities are endless. As we move forward, the evolution of chess openings continues to be shaped by factors like artificial intelligence and global connectivity. Imagine a world where AI systems generate novel strategies, or a global community of players contributing to an ever-evolving metagame. We're poised on the brink of a new era in chess, with openings yet to be discovered. 
No matter what the future holds, one thing's for sure, the evolution of chess openings is a fascinating journey that's far from over.